New tonight, NASA is calling on UTSA to help with an important mission to the moon and Mars. It would be the first of its kind. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos is at the campus with this special project. Sarah, the university will have a part in building homes on the moon and Mars. Leading the charge here at UTSA is engineering professor Arturo Montoya. It's something that you dream as a kid and just to see it happen, it's uh, mind blowing. A dream come true. Montoya has a chance to work with NASA. So we're building uh, homes for the moon. Montoya is just one of the brilliant minds designing smart homes up in space. We expect that a lot of things are going to go wrong because these habitats are going to be under very harsh uh, environmental conditions. This is no easy task. Universities all around the U.S. will help. The homes will need to be resilient to survive the conditions. So you are up against uh, zero gravity. You have uh, solar radiation effects. Uh, you have a lot of dust particles impacting the homes. So what would a home look like on the moon or Mars? Well, early models show a capsule or a round dome. They would be used for NASA missions. People that go there, I mean, will be able to exercise, will be able to have meals, and enjoy their time. This is putting UTSA on a global platform. Students will even have a part in the mission. We know that the eyes of the world are on us, and uh, we're going to work very hard to make it happen. At home, you're probably wondering, so when are we going to see these homes? Well, it's going to be way far in the future. Montoya couldn't give us a time frame, but they will start the project in June, and it will last over a five-year period. Reporting from UTSA, Henry Ramos, KINS 5, Eyewitness News.